Why oil price increase but Malaysian currency is still getting weaker? I think when we talk about ringgit, we always look at where our base currency is. So when you say we're weak, weaker against what? Actually, we've strengthened against the Japanese yen. But of course, we don't look at that rate. Everyone in the world looks at the US dollar. So not only has Malaysian weakened against the US dollar, every other currency in the world has weakened against the US dollar. A coin has two sides, right? So has the US dollar strengthened or has the Malaysian ringgit weakened? I think that's a question. Now, there's no doubt that we have underperformed other currencies that underperform the US dollar. Say, for example, the Sing dollar, right? We have to understand that Sing dollar works on a very different basis of exchange uh, to the Malaysian ringgit. Singapore has really positioned itself as the Switzerland of Asia. So the Sing dollar exchange rate is effectively managed by the Central Bank of Singapore, uh, Monetary Authority of Singapore, MAS, not Malaysia Airlines. Huh? And if you think about why, why is the Sing dollar so strong, right? Uh, because they are known as capital importers. So people put money in Singapore. No foreigner wants to buy Sing dollar for what? You can't use Sing dollar for anything else except in Singapore, right? It's really about depositing money. So they are net importers of capital. Malaysia, on the other hand, we are a trading nation, right? Singapore is a service, is a service type country. We are exporters, right? So we are net exporters. Now, even though that the oil price has gone up, but we have to understand that it's it's about demand and supply of the ringgit. So why would anyone want to buy ringgit? There's also no reason for anyone to buy ringgit, right? Uh, what we do is that we export. So it's all about the import of foreign currency and supply and demand. So the more influx of capital that comes into Malaysia, typically we will get a stronger ringgit because there's more demand. If there's an outflow of capital, we're net exporters of capital, uh, then you're going to see a weaker ringgit, which is what we're seeing today. So everyone's saying, oh, the US dollar is getting stronger. Why don't we get our ringgit, sell our ringgit and buy the US dollar? Of today, I think we're at 4.75. The oil price actually has very little or almost no correlation to the currency, uh, our Malaysian currency. Let me explain why. You see, uh, all oil in Malaysia is owned by Petronas under the Petroleum Act, which means that the government owns Petronas, sells the oil or, or, or earns profits. That profit is given as a dividend to the central government. Now, did you know that actually if we collected all our taxes, even if they put in GST, SST, luxury tax, whatever tax we collect, it's not enough to cover our government spending every year, right? About 40% or up to 50% actually comes from a dividend paid by Petronas. That is fiscal policy, what they call fiscal. So it's for the government to spend the money, right? So it's got very little uh, relation to the demand and supply of the ringgit, if that makes sense. So actually without us selling that oil and Petronas giving a dividend to the Malaysian government, our taxes need to be a lot higher. And of course, if you look at the bulk of where our government spends our money, it's actually on operating expenses, OPEX. More than a million government servants or agencies, all that is actually OPEX. Uh, a smaller part of it is actually CAPEX, right? building roads, uh, infrastructure, and so on and so forth. So for us to sustain that OPEX, Petronas has to pay a dividend to a government every year. Otherwise, our government budget today um, deficit is even larger. What is the deficit? Deficit means that the government spends more than it earns in tax revenue. So tax revenue only accounts for 50-60% of government spending every year. The rest of it actually comes as a dividend from Petronas. So not related if you guys can see, right? How will the ringgit strengthen? Well, ringgit can strengthen by the US dollar being weakened. How can the US dollar be weakened? Now, because US have gone on an unprecedented rate of interest rate hike, it went from 0 to 5.5% in 18 months, or less than 18 months. So everyone's now buying US dollar because they want yield. But if you keep interest rates high for too long, it has detrimental effects to uh, the economy. And with a strong US dollar as well, it actually slows down the global economy completely because it costs more to buy the same thing today as it was two years ago at a different exchange rate. The Federal Reserve has already come out and said that in 2024, 2025, they expect to ease interest rates back to a long-term rate of 2.5%, so from 55 to 2.5%. Now, we will then likely see money flow out of the US dollar into other currencies. So if you're thinking of exchanging your ringgit to US dollar today at an all-time high, you may want to think again because your timing risk is probably the highest it's ever been. But if you had already have US dollar, that makes no difference to you, right? That's why both unrelated. I, I hope that makes sense to you.